Hey guys, this is Li Xing. Today I wanted to talk about light and share a very important or basic rule about light. This rule maybe a lot of artists don't know about it or it's very easy to ignore it. And uh, this rule linked to HSB because last video we talk about light, right? And I mentioned that light is related to the uh, um, color. So if you, if you wanted to talk about light, then you need to talk about the color. If you want to talk about the color, then actually it's talk about light. So before we start, I want to talk about black and white first. Because many artists, uh, many artists very often to use black and white. Especially when they, when they doing uh, when they doing their artwork. Um, um, so in my opinion, please be conscious that when you use white and black, I mean uh, when you almost finish your artwork, you want to put the highlight or you want to dark your dark area. You 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 will always need to think about uh, black and white. So uh, I have few like uh, examples and um, you know it's like uh, some is good some is bad and uh, let's take a look first so let's take some good reference for the reference so why I mentioned black and white is because in HSB in my last video I talked about it, brightness is very important so uh, you will need to be careful to use the totally white and uh, totally black because totally white is not a white color actually totally white is light and uh, totally black is like uh, actually in our real real life we can't find a totally black because uh, you know uh, if we have light the light can, I mean, give all area the value, so we can't find like a totally black. But uh, you may find some like uh, totally black in some photos, totally uh, um, white in some photos, because photo can't uh, your photo reference can't uh, take so many informations and uh, can't compare with your eyes. So let's take a look at this reference first. I will use uh, I drop the um, toast to check it and let you know this. So for this reference, a lot of artists are very easy to make the background totally white. But actually, this background is not like totally white. Let's see. You see, actually the background, the brightness is around 85%, right? They won't be like 100% white. So the highlight will be in this point because this is metal you see right 99 percent so and uh, only this like a highlight area you can use like uh, pure white other area you should think about and consider to use it and the totally black maybe you know this area is totally black but uh, you see when i check these three black points you see the numbers it's not like 100 uh, percent uh, not like a uh, uh, zero like uh, brightness right you still have some like gray right you see and uh, take a look at this reference this reference is like uh, um, in the evening so why i said white is not a color is light because it, you will see in a lot of reference, especially in the night, some building, some some cityscape. You will see check this area. You see the light always one hundred percent, always one one hundred percent, almost okay. And uh, other area you won't find like pure white. Even this road, some character here, you see seventy five percent, right? So you can't compare with the light. Uh, of course, some like uh, some photos have like uh, overexposed, 
So maybe you know the, some some area it will be like totally white. But normally, keep this idea in your mind: the pure white, 100% white, actually is light. And then let, let's take a look at uh, this portrait, this man. And uh, you will find that uh, if we check the highlight on his nose, you see. Uh, first, I will check other area. You see, uh, right now I'm. This is like a 55 percent, right? Let's check the highlight on his nose. You see, 100 percent, right? Other area, other area. You can't find any area that can compare with this area. The highlight actually is from the sky, the sun, right? This is the highlight. So, highlight is what? Highlight is light. Is your light is not white? Is not a white color? Of course, some uh, like I mentioned, metal. Metal is very easy to get the highlight. Uh, you see, this area is 100%. But for the clothes, it will be very hard because the clothes compare with the material. You will you will think about the metal and the fabric. So you have different materials. So you can't find like 100% highlight on these clothes, right? These clothes you can't like put like 100% white on these clothes. This clothes is not metal. The only only the metal you see will have some highlight, strong like white color. You can check here. You can check it here. You can check it here, right? Ninety-four. Even it highlight ninety-four, not like one hundred percent. So, uh, let's take another one. This one is uh, very clear. You can see the light. This area. Is only this area can use white color, totally white color, 100%. Of course, this is like a photo, like I mentioned, that uh, some photo, you know, mm, is not your eyes, you kind of compare with your eyes. So, by the photo, some photo uh, might use some uh, software like Lightroom, Photoshop, they will make the uh, photo have more contrast, so they will make the lighter, light lighter, make the, make the dark area more darker. So. Maybe this area is very dark, like 100 percent. But uh, like you, like you, like you see, uh, here's percent, here's number. You see, I check this area. Maybe it's 100. Well, it is like totally black zero. But actually, he have some numbers, right? So that means it's not a pure black. So uh, if I take this reference to do a study, I I will control this. Mm, dark area won't be jumped too much. Maybe it's like 10 or 11. And this highlight, only the light source can be 100%. Other area, no. Maybe you know for this reflection light and this light on the metal, this area maybe it's like uh, uh, 100%, right? Yeah, this area, this area. I mean. Um, This area and this area, and uh, maybe this area, and maybe this point, it can be 100%. So let's take a look at another one. Also, you know, this one is also uh, the light. Did you see the light? Only this light area can be 100%. Others, you know, here, 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 you can't find it. Even on this sculpture, you know, his uh, his highlight. Did you see? I will check it. You see, it's ninety eight percent, ninety nine percent. There may be some small area will be one hundred percent because this uh, uh, sculpture have very smooth surface, so it's very easy, like metal texture. Although this uh, um, dark area, you see. Here, 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 maybe it's totally black, but if I doing a practice, I won't put the pure black here. Why? Because you will need to think about this. If I put this like totally black, 
I will need to think about the light because this light is in the front of this uh, dark area. So there is like a, I already have this black, but the light, well, in the front of this uh, dark area. So you see, so with the light, with this black area won't be pure black. It will still have like a, some uh, gray. It's like a, you should give this area some bricks. You you need a let a let a let this space have some area for the for the light. Think about the light. So, uh, and also you you should think about the distance. I mean from the light, from uh, this light, this light with this area and with this area how long the, dist the distance between this area maybe this one is very far this area very far this area is very near you know so and also think about uh, if you put the pure black here this area should be the pure black why because this area is in the front and it's very close with us this area is very far right very far so even they are all like uh, have the same black but you think about the distance this black point is very close to you this black point the same but it's very far from you so you how how can you like let people know the distance the only way is make this black gray right because of light in the middle of this two distance have a light have a this light so this can make the distance uh, let's see another one let's take a look at this portrait this uh, portrait uh, photo let's take a look maybe you see this area I think it's the most dark area in this photo so let's take a look you see right it won't be like totally black right it won't be like zero it's like still have five four uh, percent and uh, maybe this area, this area, you see, I use the eyedropper, can check all the dark area. It won't be black. Although the highlight, the highlight may be only on his nose, right? Even his nose is highlighted is like 97%. You can use 100%, it's okay, but uh, normally you should uh, consider about 100%. It's necessary or not. It may be, of course, you know, uh, like I said, different material can be the reason because uh, compare with the nose and uh, compare with your eyes. Of course, the eyes can be used uh, the 100% white because your eyes is very smooth, right? But your nose have some texture and it's not like a, uh, um, like glass. Your eyes like a glass, right? So. If you need to use the highlight, the highlight 100% white can be used eyes. Other area, you see the face here is 88. This one can be 100 or 90. You know why? Because compared with these two area, the face and the nose, you always touch your nose. So your nose in the front of your nose, this area is very smooth, right? Your face always like uh, have some texture a little bit. So. This highlight was stronger than this area. Okay, and um, and uh, in this photo reference, you can see the highlight was here, one hundred percent. This area you can't use one hundred percent. This one, like I said, metal metal can be uh, used one hundred percent white because it's. You can think about it. this is not like a highlight actually. This is light. Is light is a light source. Light source because this material. And okay, this one. Uh, a lot of artists maybe think about uh, oh maybe I need to use pure white here. But no, sorry. You see, you see, right? Because if we think a very general idea, if we wanna put a light in this photo, what should we do, right? We should use one hundred percent. No, put it here, then make a little bit of light. Make a little bit more small light, then you compare it. 
So you see, if I put this light here, you will know, oh, this is light, right? And this light actually is 100% that I use it, almost 100%. Okay. Right, and uh, for for here you can't find like a one hundred percent. It's always jump from eighty percent or ninety percent, ninety ninety five, ninety four. You know, right? This is light, right? So remember this, okay? And uh, yeah, this metal. Another example. Other like his clothes, his uh, um, the ground won't have very strong highlight and they won't have pure white. The only pure white, like a highlighter only on the metal. So let's take some like bad reference, bad reference. This one, this bad reference where you can see the, um, this photo have some problem, it's like overexposed, right? So if you use this photo reference to do a practice, that will be a problem because you we use so many white color in this photo, and uh, you can't define the the highlight and uh, which area is highlight, especially on the face. This area is pure white, right? This uh, uh, close here, this area is pure white. The top of this uh, um, area is pure white. Even on the ground, it's pure white. So, like I said, you compare with this one. You see, oh, sorry. Compared with this one, the highlight only on the metal, very strong, but won't jump to the close. Right? The close and the uh, uh, um, face. The metal can be a highlight, like a white, pure white. And uh, let's take a look at this one. This one is also. Uh, think about very simple things. I mean, except this white light color, other area is perfect, it's very nice. But uh, did you see this window? Windows, it's pure white, it's too strong. This is not wrong, but you will need to think about it. if I ask you to put a light source, a sun on the sky, how can you put it? You can't put it 100% light here, right? Because it's already 100%. The only way is you dark those area, make this area dark. You know, it's like uh, you dark this area a little bit, you know. Um, then you can put a pure white. So this is like your sun, right? So th then you can find, it. then you can see the sun here. But if I remove it, oh sorry, but if I didn't put it this one, you will. It's very hard to find the light source because it's already like a pure white everywhere. Uh, like I said, it's not wrong. Okay, this one can be a, a, a good reference. But you, when you're doing a practice, when you're doing your artwork, you will need to think about it this way. And also, this one is also like the same problem like uh, this one. You can't find the highlight on the on the face. Where is the highlight? Right, the whole nose and his uh, uh, his head. The top of the head is like. A, Totally white. It's too strong. It's hard. It's very hard to define the highlight area. And also, uh, the dark area is too dark. It's too dark. You kind of check check a lot of information. It's very hard to learn the transition. So um, this is very important. Don't when you're doing your artwork, find some reference. Don't use like 100% white and don't use 100% uh, black pure black and pure white you will need to consider to use it I would uh, like to suggest that you always use from 10% to 90% uh, maybe yeah it depends on you and then you can find some light uh, highlight area with like a pure uh, white color so and let's see, uh, take a look at some good reference, like some oil painting, classic oil painting. You will see in this artwork, we can transfer to the black and white. So you see, because black and white is very easy to see the highlight, you won't able to see very white uh, color, like a pure white. You see, 
we can't find like even kind of like a highlight maybe this area even the highlight from from here you see it's like eight eight cent right this metal you see maybe 77 right we kind of like totally find like a totally white color and for the black let's check the most dark area this area it's three right three four five two right and most of this area is like gray, 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 right? And uh, uh, then take a look at this one. It's also uh, from this whole dark area, you can't find a very totally black color. Did you see? Did you see? Right? Because you see, because even this area before is like uh, totally black. Let me, let me show you something. Even here, I use pure black, right, like this. But you will think about the light in the front, in the in the front of this uh, character. You will see that because the light source is from here, right, the top of here. So the light will cover this area, and this is warm color. You see, so I put the light source coming here, so it's in the front of this dark area. So this area you won't able to use the pure black, right? And uh, for the highlight, like I mentioned, uh, because this cloth is white, so and uh, this area is all, almost the uh, top area close to the light source, so this area can be uh, pure white. And uh, this area is also like a pure white. Other area, you see the ground. You see, you see the ground. It it won't be like a, a pure white. Even using you know, like I mentioned, the metal, right? You compare with the metals highlight. You see here, 95, 96 percent. Compare with the ground, you see, right? They have some different. So a lot of artists maybe will make this mistake. Make the uh, ground like 100% pure white, the same like the metal. So this is wrong. You need to think about this. And um, yeah, sometimes you know it depends. You find some nice photo reference and some uh, nice uh, oil painting uh, from some old master. Uh, maybe the highlight will be very strong, like 100%, and maybe the dark area will be. Oh, even this area is still like a seven, right? Maybe some artwork will be like a one hundred uh, zero black, like a pure black. But you still need to think about maybe this photo, this uh, uh, this reference that you download from Google or, or internet, the quality is very bad, you know, and uh, we can't find the the, the 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 original. So if you didn't see the original artwork don't judge it too quickly and still like i said think about uh, uh, the original artwork what will be the color what will be and the light what will be so um you see i always talk about the color and the light right because uh, I, like i mentioned the color and the light they are together we can't separate it so so this is the uh, basic rules that uh, and a very important rule that I want to uh, talk about before we start to talk about light because this is really important if you ignore this uh, very important uh, information um, uh, that uh, um, I think it's a um, very big problem so keep in your mind that uh, always think about uh, um, don't use pure white and pure black. So you will see a lot of artists uh, when they doing an artwork, they will make the um, fill in the um, background uh, because right now the background is 100% pure white, right? They will make it like a little bit of gray. Little, uh, anyway, they will put some color in the background. They won't keep it uh, like a pure white. So right now you see if I put some color in the background, we find that some light source. <laughs> that for I use for the uh, photo reference, um, this one, right? You see, so right now we are, we see this very clear. Like this 
light source like a star, right? So this is pure white. This is white color. So, okay, this video is about this rule, this very simple rule, very important rule. I hope you, um, um, I hope you can um, understand this, and uh, I hope uh, this rule and this, like my opinion, can help you. Maybe you already know it, or maybe you don't just know it. So, uh, anyway, um, this is uh, today what I want to talk about. And uh, thank you. Um, for the next uh, video, I will use some examples to explain more information about uh, different light with different color, uh, also including like a different environment. All right. Oh, last thing, stay home, be safe. Thank you.